So I'm really interested in understanding how cells communicate with each other. And so I've been particularly interested in the interactions between the receptor proteins displayed on the surface of cells. And fertilization is a wonderful biology to actually investigate these, uh, these interactions. And yet when I looked in the textbooks to try and find the receptors, the molecules that were involved in the recognition process between the sperm and the egg, uh, there was very little known. And so it was a very uh, fundamental uh, question to try and answer in the laboratory. In 2005, a Japanese group of um, researchers identified the first uh, mammalian protein essential for sperm egg recognition in mammals on the sperm surface. They called the protein Izumo after a, a Japanese marriage shrine, but actually uh, no one knew the counterpart of this uh, protein on the egg surface. So we took advantage of some technologies that were available in the lab in order to identify the Izumo binding receptor. So we know from work that we've done and also from the work of others that uh, these interactions between these cell surface molecules can be extremely weak. And we've developed technologies that allow us to uh, detect these very, very transient interactions. And that gives us a chance then to, uh, to discover them. So we identified uh, the receptor for this Izumo protein um, as a molecule which we've now called Juno, after the Roman goddess of uh, marriage and fertility and we could show that the protein was highly expressed on the surface of the egg. But there have been a few false starts uh, on identifying the, the molecules involved in sperm egg recognition over the years. And so it was really important that we made a mouse that didn't have this Juno protein to see whether the females could indeed be fertilized or not. When we realized that actually the eggs and the sperm could not fuse because of the absence of Juno, that was a really exciting moment and it was the first time that we have the, the, the proof of the uh, essentiality of Juno for fertilization. So if this Juno protein is, is missing in, in fertile women, what we can do is perform a very simple genetic screening test that isn't invasive. And this then would allow us to guide the fertility treatment so that women can proceed directly to a procedure called uh, ICSI, or intracytoplasmic sperm injection, rather than going through previous rounds of uh, normal IVF treatment. And that saves a great deal of expense and going through these rounds of fertility treatment. So by identifying this interaction between Juno and Izumo, we now know the identity of the receptor proteins found on the surface of our father's sperm and our mother's egg that must interact at the moment at which we were conceived, the moment that we were made. <laughs>